Good morning and welcome to today's International Space Station update. You're joining us here inside of the flight control room in Houston, Texas, where the Orbit 2 team is currently on console, monitoring all of the systems on board this orbiting laboratory. They're being led today by Flight Director Ed Van Sice. It's shown there in the red shirt, and joining him at the Capcom position is NASA astronaut Sandy Magnus, serving as the communication link between teams here on the ground in Houston and the astronauts up in space. And those astronauts right now are the crew of Expedition 32, being led by veteran uh, Russian cosmonaut Gennady Padalka in the front row on the right there. Uh, joining him also, uh, starting on the left, is Japan Aerospace Exploration astronaut Aki Hoshide, there in the front, Russian cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko, and then moving along across the right, NASA astronaut Sonny Williams, another NASA astronaut Joe Acaba, and all the way in the back right there is our third Russian cosmonaut Sergei Revin. Major tasks on board the station, including quite a bit of robotic activity. Ground teams today use the space station's robotic manipulator arm to uh, extract the exposed pallet out of the Japanese HTV vehicle. HTV being a uh, unmanned cargo craft which docked with the International Space Station just a little bit over a week ago on July 27th carrying uh, a haul of uh, both pressurized and unpressurized cargo to the International Space Station. This external pallet coming out of the unpressurized system being uh, taken out by teams on the ground with the station robotic arm and handed off to the Japanese Experiment Module Remote Manipulator System or the GEM RMS. Then following this handoff, uh, astronauts Aki Hoshide and Joe Akaba then grappled and installed the external pallet onto the GEM exposed facility. An exposed pallet on the outboard portion of the Japanese experiment module which allows different payloads to be exposed to the vacuum and radiation environment of deep space. Aside from that work uh, going on throughout the day today, Joe Akaba was also working with the bino binary colloidal alloy test, also known as BCAT, which is an experiment that looks to study uh, particles known as colloids as they're suspended in different uh, plasmas to help uh, offer a few more insights into basic particle physics, taking advantage of that microgravity environment on board the International Space Station. And Akaba's partner on all of that uh, robotic activity earlier today, Aki Hoshide, was getting involved in a Japan Airspace and Exploration Agency biological experiment, starting up some measurements for biorhythms, uh, which looks to examine the effect of long-term microgravity exposure on automatic cardiac functions uh, and uses 24-hour electrocardiograms on these ISS crew members. Our third USOS crew member, uh, Sonny Williams, has been setting up and charging a couple of batteries for different power tools or Makita batteries for some upcoming integrated cardiovascular monitoring she'll be doing throughout the week. Integrated cardiovascular, a U.S. Uh, study similar to that biorhythms uh, JAXA experiment that Aki Hoshide is working on, which looks to study the atrophy or the weakening of the heart muscle during long-duration spaceflight. She'll also be working to set up a modification kit, installing that on the station's recycling tank. Meanwhile, our three Russian cosmonauts starting off with Commander Gennady Padalka, who is inside of the uh, Russian service module, or Zvezda, installing the core's uh, P antenna, the passive manual antenna switch. Uh, the core's P is the receiving end of that uh, automated docking system, which controls the Progress spacecraft on their final approach into the International Space Station. And aside from setting up that switch today, he'll be uh, doing some cargo transfer from the 48 Progress vehicle, which docked just uh, a little over a week ago. He'll also be updating the station's inventory management system along with Yuri Malenchenko, who is also going to be uh, giving him a hand with that cargo transfer from the 48 Progress vehicle. And he will also be doing some leak checks on ATV, which is the third unmanned cargo craft currently docked to the station. Quite a bit of visiting vehicles uh, interacting with this station complex right now. ATV-3 all the way in the back there on the aft end of Zvezda has been uh, attached to the station the longest out of the three, the three unmanned craft, ATV, Progress, and HTV. Uh, so he'll be doing a couple of leak checks on that with its undocking scheduled uh, in the near future. Then our third and final Russian cosmonaut, Sergei Revin, is going to be doing some routine replacements on the Russian toilet system and also replacing a few lights inside of the Zvezda service module and the Rosfiat docking module.